In this video I'm going to show you how to connect the FlexiSoft with a PC. After creating our configuration throughout the previous tutorials, we are now going to transfer the project from the computer to the FlexiSoft. First of all, we can check our connection settings. Therefore, we click on COM settings in the top navigation bar. In the connection window, we have the possibility to add new connection profiles. Down here on the right side, there is a short description on how to configure a new connection. In this example, I am choosing the standard serial connection. Now we want to connect the device by clicking the connect button. Based on the checksum, which is a unique identifier for each configuration, the FSD compares the configuration in the device with the kernel configuration in the FSD. In our case here, the configurations do not match. We have the possibility to either transfer the configuration to the device or read the configuration from the device and open it in the FSD. In this case I'm going to transfer our configuration to the FlexiSoft. Only authorized clients are allowed to transfer configuration to the device which has not been verified yet. To log on as an authorized client you have to enter your password. After that we can run the module. Now our device runs with the configuration we created throughout the whole series. We can see that the same LEDs like on our physical device are on. If we double click a module, we see all the module status bits, showing us if the module is working correctly. On the left side we get an overview of all our used modules. Let us switch to the logic editor. Here we can see all elements and their status. If I press the e-stop, you can see how it changes its color from green to white. Now I release it again and restart the machine. With the online edit mode, we can change the current configuration while connected to the device. In this example I want to add a lamp, showing us if the motor is not running. Therefore I click on the corresponding button in the upper right corner of the main window. And now I can edit everything as usual. I add a lamp to the hardware configurator. Then jump to the logic and add it together with a function block. Now we transfer the new configuration to our FlexiSoft. We've now checked our configuration online and made the last changes. The next step, which is very important, is the verification of the configuration. With this step, we confirm that the configuration works as we intended it. Therefore, we go back to the hardware configurator and click on this flashing button. The FSD automatically creates a report, which has to be checked very carefully before we can set the device to verify it and enable it to work independently without being connected to a PC. So far for this tutorial. You learned how to connect FlexiSoft to the PC and how to transfer your configuration, as well as how to edit with the online edit mode. In the next tutorial we will take a look at the diagnostics and the data recorder.